harvested a basket of zucchini and summer squash and we're gonna turn it into delicious creamy zucchini soup. And here's the important part, a freezer friendly soup base that you can heat up later for a quick and easy lunch, brunch, or supper. You're gonna love it. Turn an abundance or even a glut of zucchini into zucchini velvet soup in about half an hour. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm here to help you create your slice of country living wherever you live. Welcome to Chocolate Box Cottage, the sweet spot between old-fashioned skills and modern convenience. If that sounds intriguing to you, I invite you to subscribe. Well, I will not be the one to tell you you planted too many zucchini plants, not me. But if you are overwhelmed by the generosity of this plant, or you're not even sure if you like it, this recipe is for you. I have made it for more than one person who professed an intense dislike for zucchini only to find to their own surprise that they really, really liked it. Zucchini velvet soup tastes fresh and buttery and comforting all at the same time. The recipe doubles and triples easily and it freezes beautifully. My advice is to make a double or triple batch and freeze some of it for later. You can get the recipe at my website chocolateboxcottage.tv. U.S. standard and metric measures are included for my international friends and take advantage of the times two and times three button to make that double or triple batch. It multiplies the ingredients for you. I will pin the link in the description below and also in the comments. Ingredients for zucchini velvet soup are very simple. We're starting with a big bowl of sliced zucchini, some water, salt, sugar, and some fresh thyme leaves and we'll finish it up with butter, diced onion, and flour. That's it. And I'm taking my own advice, making a double batch. We'll have half of it for dinner tonight and the rest will go in the freezer. I chose a good sized zucchini in the mix here and you'll notice that it does have seeds inside, but they're still tender. If the zucchini you're using has fibrous seeds, you'll wanna scoop them out. So add the zucchini to the pan. Next, add the water, the sugar, the salt, and the fresh thyme leaves. Bring it to a boil, put a lid on the pot, and let it cook for about 15 minutes until the zucchini is very tender. While the zucchini cooks, make a roux or a white sauce with the remaining ingredients. In a large saucepan over medium heat, melt the butter. Stir in the chopped onion and let it cook until tender, but don't let it brown. Well, now that our onions are nice and tender, we'll go ahead and whisk in the flour and add a little bit more salt. And we'll just keep stirring and whisking this until the flour bubbles and turns a nice golden brown and turns thick and smooth. You see that in there? It's starting to bubble, and this will get rid of the raw taste of the flour and just give it a nice, rich, golden taste. Let the zucchini cool for a bit, and then add it to your blender. If you're making more than one batch, you may need to puree it in two batches. Okay, this smells so good. Now we're going to add that pureed zucchini back to the pan. And whisk it in till it's all nice and smooth. And what you've done here is you have created a soup base. Just look at that thick, creamy, beautiful soup base. So I'm going to ladle some of this soup base into a freezer container. You can see my fancy label here zucchini velvet soup and the date thaw completely heat and add two cups of milk this is a four cup container so when I heat it I will add two cups of milk and there will be a nice generous dinner and I'll whisk in the milk for what we're gonna have tonight and 
And you'll see this just is such a luscious soup. It is a lovely shade of green. So appetizing. It smells wonderful. It has this wonderful buttery taste. And it's practically free because you made it with zucchini. So let's dish up a bowl. Add a little fresh chopped parsley or basil. And if you have it, some edible flower petals like calendula are nice to add too. They just make it feel special, but it's fine without and smells so delicious. Mm, it really is. This recipe has made uh, more than one convert to zucchini. You've got to try it. And don't forget, we've got this to add to the freezer. This is a future dinner here. So anytime you want to make zucchini velvet soup, make a bigger batch and deposit a couple of these in the freezer. You'll be ahead of the game. Later on, on those busy days, you can thaw and reheat this soup and enjoy it with so little fuss. Thanks for visiting me in the kitchen today at Chocolate Box Cottage. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.